Peace. What's good, guys? How's it going? Hope you guys are doing well. It's your boy, Jay. So, for those of you that don't know, WrestleMania Backlash is tomorrow. Yay! Exciting, right? Nope. Nope. Not really. No one gives a fuck. The only match that I really care about and I'm invested in is actually the Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins feud. I'm loving where it's going. I'm not that too invested in the six-man tag because that could have been on a Raw or SmackDown, being honest. And we all know why it didn't happen. That was because Fox didn't want it to happen. I don't see why, but, you know, people have to bend the knee and bow the knee to networks. It's just... That's just how the fucking cookie crumbles. That's how the cookie goes. That's how it goes. But... WrestleMania Backlash is tomorrow night. This has been a horrible build. Horrible. Horrible. Like... It's pathetic. It really is. And most of these matches are just your basic Raw and SmackDown matches. Like These are matches that you can have on a, a random episode of Raw or SmackDown. Like, it's nothing to really be invested into. Nothing to waste your time. But we're here, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, let's go over AJ Styles versus Edge. Damian Priest is banned from ringside, so now they have a name for the faction, that being Judgment Day, and I'm like, ugh, really? Gross, but it is what it is. I mean, who gives a shit? Edge is one of the best in the business, so I'm fine with it. They probably will more than likely add more members. And I'm digging and loving the fact that AJ and Finn have finally reunited. Two former leaders of the Bullet Club. So I'm fine with that. You know, that's cool. Um, Who wins this match here, though? Does Edge really need to win? No, because he's Edge and he's one of the best in the business, like I just said. So, obviously, there's quite a few ways that they can go about this. One, they could have Edge win, but then there's no rubber match or no payoff match, obviously. Or they could have AJ win. And then maybe they could have may maybe another match, another um, match to end the feud around Money in the Bank. And then possibly for SummerSlam, which is in July, they could do AJ and Finn versus Judgment Day, Edge and Damian Priest. And I think they could really, you know, prolong that. So, I'm going to go with AJ Styles winning here. It makes the most sense. And then they'll probably end up doing another rematch at Money in the Bank. Maybe like a, a last man standing match or something like that. Or a steel cage. Something of that stipulation and sort. So, that's what I'm sticking with. And I think that will more than likely happen as well. Because we're probably going to see more people joining um, the Judgment Day faction. I'm hearing talkings of Champa, which I'm fine with, and R R R Ripley. So I do think those two will be added in due time. Um, Omos versus Bobby Lashley. So Bobby Lashley came back. He's been on a, a dominant role here. He is 
is, I want to say, probably in the top five of baby faces. He's not number one. He's not number two. I think those spots would go to, obviously, Cody Rhodes being number one. Um, AJ being a number two. Balor being a number three. I can't think of a fourth person right off the top of my head. So that's why I'm going to put Lashley, you know, at number five. But he's like in the top five of baby faces on Monday Night Raw. He's like in the top five. Um, and then Omos, he's aligned himself with MVP. So obviously they're still going to continue this feud. It's not going to be a one and done. So I do think Omos comes out by hook or crook. By hook or by crook, he, uh, I mean, by crook, I mean, you know how the saying goes. Um, whether by hook or by crook or what, or what have you, Omos is going to win. I do think that uh, MVP is going to get involved and Omos is going to win, obviously. And then they can have their uh, payoff match, probably at Money in the Bank. Moving on, Happy Corbin versus Madcap Moss. Not really invested in the storyline, although I'm, I'm high on Corbin. I like him, but not in this, um, not in this character. The Happy character is so boring and played out. It doesn't make any sense. Madcap Moss. Looks like a star, but they need they need to change this guy. He needs to be revamped and be changed. Because why have him with the same old music, the same gimmick, suspenders, all that jazz? Get rid of everything. Change the guy's name again. Um, and just you know, give him a, a better character. The guy has it. He's really good on the mic, obviously. He's a pretty decent character, but he's not allowed to be himself. He's not. Um, who do I think goes over here? I'll go with Happy Corbin, and then they'll have a blow-off at Money in the Bank. And let's see. Um, what's next on the card? Because this is a very uh, short card. It's, it's not a bunch on this card, which is great. Um, let's go with the six-man tag involving RK Bro and Drew McIntyre versus the Bloodline, Owen Reigns and the Usos. Um, I like what they're doing here, but at the same time, I don't. Now, obviously... This strikes me as something that you would see on a SmackDown or a Raw. Either one, and it could be the main event of either show. It doesn't matter. This does not feel main event-esque, in my opinion. Not for a pay-per-view. Oh, my bad. Premium live event. Who gives a shit? So, I do think that... This will probably open the show. It has to. It makes the most sense. You want the crowd to be kind of hot going into it. And then that way you, you can cool them down later on as the show progresses. Obviously, they're going to do Roman and McIntyre later on. I do think they could stretch that feud out to SummerSlam. I don't want them to, to do it at Money in the Bank. It, uh, it wouldn't make sense. It's too early. Um, because if you do it at Money in the Bank and Roman w wins, which he will, then what's going to, I mean, you know, uh, what's he going to be doing come SummerSlam? You know, that's like their uh, big five. So what's he going to do? Like, that's their biggest pay per view um, for the summer, it's the biggest part of the summer. So, why would they risk that? So, I do think that they could uh, stretch that out 
until SummerSlam. I don't think they're going to even even attempt to do anything within the UK involving that either. I don't think. I mean, why would you have McIntyre and Reigns for the uh, WWE Universal World Championship or whatever it's called? Why would you have that um, in the UK? That wouldn't even make sense either. Like, so why would you do it at a, at a stadium show there? Like, it wouldn't make any sense. Um, so I think the best option would be just to have it at SummerSlam. That way, if you can continue, you want to stretch it out as much as possible. Because Roman has zero opponents on SmackDown. Zero. And... There's a lot of guys he can face on Raw. There, there's a lot of opponents he, he can face. So, yeah. But who wins here? I'm going to say... RK Bro and Drew McIntyre. I think that Drew's going to win. He'll probably end up Clay, uh, Claymore kicking one of the Usos and pinning them. Because Roman's not, you know, taking the, taking uh, a loss. He ain't, doing, he ain't doing the job to nobody. Not right now. And I do think that they're going to probably unify the tag team titles probably at Money in the Bank. And let's go with Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair. In an I quit match for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, this is an issue here because this can't close the show. I've got a feeling if it closes the show, they get booed out of the building. This has been the worst built feud in a minute. Like it's been built, uh, like shit. For the last month and a half. Um, I mean for the last couple months. I don't understand why WWE would close it out. With this main event. It wouldn't make. Uh, with this as the main event. It wouldn't make any sense. In my opinion. It just doesn't. It doesn't. Because you know they're going to go at least a good. 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I hope that they end up putting this in the middle of the, of the show here. Like maybe around the 9 o'clock hour or 10 o'clock hour or something like that. Because there's only five matches on the card. So it's just only just five. So this show should realistically go off the air about, I'd say 10, 15. Yeah, between 10, 15 and 10, 30 this show should be going off the air. Um, who, who goes over here? It doesn't really matter to me because I, I don't really give a shit, a shit about either. I, I just don't. Charlotte, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, no one gives a shit about Charlotte. Like, seriously. And, you know, it begs the question, like, are we really going to start seeing Charlotte going up against, you know, guys in the undercard like your your uh, Drew Gulaks, like she's been doing for the for the past few weeks? Um, are, are we going to see, you know, that happen? I, I hope not. I, I hope not. Who wins here? Obviously, Ronda Rousey makes sense. And then I guess you could do... Another match around SummerSlam, obviously, because Charlotte's not, she's not going to miss SummerSlam. I mean, I don't know what you do with Charlotte. Like, Charlotte has just reached the the top, and there's nothing she can do. There's, there's nothing she, she can do. You can't send her on, on Raw. You can't send her to NXT 2.0. You can't do that. You've already done that back when it was NXT 1.0. You can't do that. So I, I don't know what you do with Charlotte here. I, I, I don't know. I really, really don't know what you do with Charlotte here. Because you know she's losing. We all know that, that Rousey's going to win here. But 
what Charlotte does after after you know she loses again, that I, I can't answer. And then let's talk about what I hope to be the main event of the show, and it's one that has the most story, obviously, because it's been booked as like a a really big feud. That being Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. Um, I love both guys. I'm high on both guys. Rollins has been doing some of his best character work he's done in quite some time. Um, Cody Rhodes. He's Cody Rhodes. I love Cody Rhodes. And I loved how they're still trying to build up Cody to go after the WWE Championship. And I do think that's the story that they're still going to continue to tell. Now, in order for this feud to continue, Cody's going to have to take a loss here. I know that's going to be unpopular, the unpopular thing to say, but who gives a shit? Cody's going to have to take a loss here because if this feud continues which is going to he's going to have to take a loss and it does make the most sense i know people are going to be pissed about it but he has to lose here he has to lose there's no way you can have cody rhodes come in and beat seth Rollins twice within just a month with just a month in just a month he would have beaten seth Rollins twice like you can't do that like no like at least you know Allow the story and feud to progress a little bit longer. Like, this shouldn't be a one-and-done feud. This shouldn't be, you know, all right, on to the next thing. Like, we know that Cody Rhodes is going to still be on his quest to become a WWE champion. We, 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 we get that. We understand that. But I think that Rollins ultimately goes over here, and then they'll probably end up... Uh, either facing again at either Money in the Bank or SummerSlam. Preferably SummerSlam. And then after SummerSlam, you can kind of start, you know, booking Cody into the... Um, into the title picture. Because Raw has no champion. I mean, Roman Reigns is champion, obviously, but he's not been on Raw like that, period. So... Except for doing bloodline shit. But other than that, he's not been on Raw. But I do think that Rollins is going to win here. And I know people are going to be unpopular about that. But it is what it is. I mean, in order for the in order for the feud to progress, it's got to happen. It's got to. This, this, this can't just be, all right, Cody goes over twice within a month. And then, all right, that's it. Because, I mean, Seth Rollins is still a top guy. Seth Rollins has been a top guy for a minute. Like, you, you can't do stuff like that it just wouldn't make any sense so now know thank you guys for watching please hit the like button comment down below and subscribe for more videos i'll catch you guys later peace